Who the hell is that? He's prancing in the air. Let's kill him. Hey, quit your prancing. Fly boy. Nope. What the fuck? <laughs> There's some imp there floating in the sky. Somebody kill the sky imp. He's waving at us. This fucking prancing ass waving motherfucking imp. <laughs> Prancing in the air in my backyard. He gone invisible. Now, I don't know if I own the air or not, but this motherfucking <laughs> prancing ass stupid motherfucker. I don't know if I own the air or not. God damn it, I broke my rock hammer at this fucking prancing ass imp. I got a sapphire sword. That's pretty cool, but fuck. But fuck. But fuck this stupid prancing ass imp ass motherfucker. Get the fuck out of my air, motherfucker. Oh, wow. <laughs> the flame sword <laughs> broke the snowball. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you killed yourself on that one, huh? Get the fuck out of my air! <laughs> not out of my face, not off my property. I don't know if I own the air or not, was a good setup for that. <laughs> now get the fuck up out of my air! Get the fuck out of my air, motherfucker! He doesn't want him breathing his air. <laughs> No, he's, mine. he's prancing around in his air. Prance your... Get the fuck off my air, motherfucker. <laughs> Imps ain't welcome here. Get the fuck off my air. <laughs> Anything that's flying in his area. Birds. Bats. Imps. <laughs> bats. Get the fuck out my air. Now, Cletus. Uh, Lies. The police show up. Now, Cletus, uh, we've we've received multiple calls that you're firing a gun. Yeah, I'm giving that stupid motherfucking prancing ass imp warning shots. Get the fuck off my air, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm defending my air. My God-given air. The next board's going right in between his fucking eyeballs. Now, Cletus, he ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> you don't have a warrant. Go ahead and get him off the fuck my air, and then you get off the fuck my air. Yeah, well, how about some smiling, goofy-ass, jolly fucking waving at you imp prances round your way and tell me fucking how you feel. Your wife gets home and she fucking sees an imp and she gets uncomfortable. You fucking start shooting boards, too. <laughs> that, that's the, the most syllables he's ever put in a word. <laughs> uncomfortable. Normally, if it has more than three syllables, you just smash it into two. And I'm about to bring politics into it. You get away with it because you're fucking, you're a cop. You're fucking, you're a cop. You're fucking, you're a cop. Not so eloquent, but he got the point across. You just get put on poor leave if you fucking shoot at a prancing ass imp floating through your ass. You just get transferred to the next precinct. Precinct. <laughs> you just get switched over to the next precinct, you bullshit. Man, Ooh. I bat the blue, but fuck y'all. <laughs> I bat the blue, but fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh man, that's really good. <laughs> he's got he's got and two flags flying up front: the thin blue line flag with the blue line on the American flag, and then the, a fucking ACAB. Just both. What's ACAB? All cops are bastards. Oh, he he has multiple views on it. He's not sure where he stands, so he reps both sides proudly. I might be conflicted about my police views, but I sure as hell know I don't want no flying prancing ass imp <laughs> floating through my air. <laughs> I'm the motherfucker waved at me, too. I may be conflicted about my police rules, but I'm not conflicted about my air rules. My air. Motherfucker had the balls to float through my air. <laughs> my imp in my air rules. Prance over my yard and smile and wave at me. What the fuck? The officer's like, sir, what How do you want us, what do you want us to do about this? He's an imp. Get that motherfucker <laughs> off my airspace. <laughs> my airspace. <laughs> he owns the air. <laughs> How much, how much air do I own above my grass? How many feet above his floor does his property line extend to? You okay. need to know it in three dimensions. Hold on, I gotta open up a window because it's getting a little toasty in here. It is. Oh, but man. I want to start a conversation. <laughs> I want to start a conversation. Okay, so tell me. Yes. If you had a happy smiling imp. Prancing. Yeah, oh. get him. Annihilated. Continue her. Prancing through the air above your yard. What do you think the legalities are? Like, you obviously own your property. He would be he would be trespassing. But how high above your yard does he have to be to where he's not on your property anymore? That's a good question. I don't I I you know what? Maybe there's an answer. I'm gonna Google some variation of that and see. <laughs> I feel like it had to have come in like with a drone or something that had to have gone before a court at some point. Oh yeah, cause yeah, you can't, like you could get 
in trouble for flying a drone on someone's property. I guarantee like, you, someone's had a drone shot out of the air. They sued him, and the argument was he was in my property. He goes, no, I was in the air, and I'm sure they debated him. Alex, was that imp an enemy? Uh, yeah, all of those, like, demon-looking dudes are. Why did he was smile and wave at you, then? Enemy doesn't mean bad person. <laughs> you fucker. Enemy just means something I can kill. No, no, a genuine question. He smiled and waved at you. Are you I talking thought. about the human or the red monster that he I don't know, killed? that prancing motherfucker. The guy who was jumping around yeah, in the area with yeah, blue the, coat. The thing that spawned the whole Cletus. Oh, they thing. just do that. If they're just like not looking at you, sometimes they'll just like jump around and dance. Are you sure they're not just happy go lucky guys and you murdered him like a psychopath? Oh, I definitely did that. That's as well, I think the point. Pierre, would he have aggroed if you didn't strangers. attack him? Uh, yeah, they do. Okay, if, if am they I see you, am I crazy or did he actually wave at you? No, he I did. Thought, th okay, so why did he wave at you? If I he was, don't know. Yeah. If he was not foe, or he was. I guess foe, I didn't notice. Friend. The upper stratum is the space above which ordinary use and enjoyment by the property owner is reasonable and is loosely defined by Section 76 of the Alleviation Act of 1982. As started, stated between 500 and 1,000 feet above the roof level of the property. This is called Air Rights. It has a Wikipedia page. <laughs> Damn, that's a fucking. That's a lot of feet. A lot of space. A lot of space. A thousand feet. So you could build a thousand foot tower in your backyard before anyone can bitch about it. No, actually, I looked that up. <laughs> I'm sure you <laughs> For did. a residential house, I don't think you can go above, uh, I think th it's either three or four stories is the cap. No hello neighbor situations where it's like 13 two room stories. No. And I, yeah, it's, it's a shame because I did, I looked that up and, uh. I forget. You'd have to zone your property differently, which then if you did that, you wouldn't be able to live there. Apparently, and I, there's literally a paragraph about exactly that, drones being in your space and the arguments they've had in courts over that. So yeah, that green swirly is what we're going for. Cletus loves green swirlies. I don't know what, yeah, that what is, I don't know what it means. Yeah, what is green a green swirly, please? Well, I know what a swirly is. I don't know why it'd be green. I'm cool with green swirlies. Like, as long as they stay the fuck off my lawn. Like green poop. Or out of your like when, when someone has green poop. I guess that's a gross interpretation, but I guess it's the most likely one as well. All right. Can't blame you. You in the sticks now, boy. We don't like imps. We don't like green swirlies. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, man. I like how he came to them and said, you're in the sticks now. We don't like this. <laughs> Like they were in their own spot. You're the one who showed up. Get the <laughs> fuck off my swamp lane, mother. And wherever he is, a like, I don't know, 300 foot radius around him is his land, his air. Like it all belongs to him if he's standing there. <gasps> Ooh. Kind of trampoline. Ooh, shit. that's fun. I wasn't expecting like mechanics out here outside of just like building whatever the hell you want. That looks like you can easily break. <laughs> Yep. Well, Knew okay. It. I mean, I guess I should have expected. I did. <laughs> I did warn you. Oh, oh, oh. As I as Link was coming down, I was like, I have two hearts. <laughs> this is not a good situation. That's like when you jumped and started the glider and realized you were going directly into lava. And went, yeah, oh, it's no. just it's just right away. It's like, yeah. Well, I guess I fucked myself. This semi-recent fucking Cletus voice, the three-toothed Southerner <laughs> from Louisiana. Oh, I didn't know he was from Louisiana. Yeah, he's from the Bayous. I've noticed that. The first time I, I used his voice was just talking about Norwegians and calling them Ouija's. I recall the Ouija. <laughs> and, 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 and like some really friendly Norwegian guys like, hey, sir, how are you doing today? Fuck you! you. Shut remember. the fuck up, Ouija! I feel like I've then, seen this one recently. I don't know what video it was. And but. now I cannot stop thinking <laughs> of just this imp 10 feet off the ground. <laughs> happily s prancing around the air, smiling, and then waves at him through his window. <laughs> and then oh, no. get the <laughs> fuck out of here! <laughs> get out of my air. <laughs> Just this mind. like imp, he's so happy and he's smiling. <laughs> he's like 50 feet from the house. <laughs> sees Cletus looking out the window, smiles and waves and continues prancing. Fuck you. He's just he's just mad. He just want he just has to be mad. Martha, that fucking imp's bad. Hey, Martha, is he married? Yeah, he's married. Does he have kids? Uh, not yet. He wants them though. Yeah. There's Martha. Yeah. Oh, well, that's well. Yeah, they're dumb. <laughs> dumb rednecks always sure. reproduce. Oh yeah, I mean, okay, makes sense. true. Well, yeah, they're dumb. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, I can tell, but what? Did I just see a puff of smoke in the game, or did you just hit a vape, Alex? <laughs> well, he's coughing a lot, so I'm gonna go with vape. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it was me. Okay, <laughs> That's I I know I'm really tired right now. <laughs> it's just <love>. floated <laughs> in front of the screen. You're like, is that like, real whoa, or this, in the game? Whoa, this game is immersive. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. Rude. I can smell it. <laughs> the first game would be a Zelda game to introduce smell of vision. Sure. Dude, whoa, I, this I, one is huge. Jesus, I went on a Shrek ride at fucking. <laughs> Cletus's basement. No, what what theme park would have had Shrek? Is that Universal? <coughs> I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, yeah, works, I think so. Whoever they have. Um, well, in 2008, I went. To, I think it was Universal. Yeah, we were in Florida, and I went on a fucking Shrek ride that had like smell of vision, and they would like puff water at you and <coughs> this throw, throw really onions. Stupid. I don't want rub that. onions in your face. <laughs> yeah, and I don't shit. want that. <laughs> And like an actual donkey was, was it, there. Was it good? Uh, well, I mean, like they had to shut it down because the donkey like turned around and like buck kicked some lady in the face. <laughs> oh, sweet! <laughs> Where did you see it, or was it before you got there? Yeah, like I, I caught one of her teeth. <laughs> dope. Dope. Yeah. It's like that's what I said when I was sixteen. I was like, "What is dope?" How many did she lose? A donkey just kicked some. I don't know. Just teeth just flew everywhere. <laughs> you just reached out and grabbed one like Good. a foul ball at a ball game. Get kicked by a donkey in Zadash. And to avoid lawsuit, <laughs> all the employees just had to act like that that lady was a paid actress mm -hmm. while she's like screaming and crying and like, bleeding. She leaves like, "What a great job our performers do, guys! Give it up!" And she's like, "I'm suing you." And then one of like the paramedics showed up with like the fucking. The stretcher thing to take her away. They had to like dress her, dress them up as like Shrek characters to make everyone think that it was like part of the bit. They're all smiling <laughs> through the you know the costumes are all happy and she's uh, screaming and bleeding. Meanwhile, her like six year old daughter is like screaming and crying mm. like frantically in the background Cause, because the, the old woman just, is bleeding a lot. And then like some guy in a big Shrek costume just emerges from the shadows, wraps both of his arms around this little girl, takes her into an alleyway and shoves her into a garbage can and she is never seen again. And that's how Universal avoided that lawsuit. That was a good time. You went on a good day. Yeah, they paid me a lot of money to shut up. Oh, they see. said they said after 15 years you oh. can you can officially talk about this, which was today. To the day, to yeah. the minute. I've been waiting to tell to my minute. Shrek's tell-all. It tell was 15 all. years ago. My it's... my Shrek smell-o-vision ride tell-all. <laughs> I feel like the smell-o-vision part wasn't really the relevant part of the story. That kind of buried the lead. It's true. He had to talk about it because his alarm went off on his phone. Oh, he knew. He set an alarm for that long. Yeah. yeah. It was just, yeah, just had to talk about Shrek. Is it, <laughs> is it, is it nerve-wracking <laughs> getting a new phone and having to, like, time the timer to make sure that the countdown is, is still accurate? Because you probably had to do that a couple times, right? Yeah, I mean, eventually now it just syncs up to my Google Cloud and <laughs> shit. But. You got it. You got it in the cloud. You got that timer going. I keep time in the cloud. <laughs> the cloud knows my time. Why does he have no face? Why my He's no got face? the mask on. Um, his arm legit did get taken. His right arm got pulled out of its socket. Ooh. Pretty cool. He like a, does he have like a Luke Skywalker? It's yeah, it's like a it's like a fancy robot arm that gives him all those abilities that he has, and those are the people that gave it to him. Was it his right arm? Yeah. Well, isn't Link canonically always left-handed? Yes, his sorted hand is his left hand. Okay, so that's good then, because that means his jerk. He still got his organic jerkin <laughs> arm. <laughs> oh, oh, this his new that. arm would definitely be better for the jerkin. I mean, you can do shit like. Like invisible. rewind time with it. Oh, imagine you come and then you use yeah. it and then you come again. You can fuse things to your sword or your shield. <laughs> this is what, your this is sword. This is what Vision oh. and Thanos were doing with their time stone. You can Multiple orgasms for men. You can make like a gigantic fucking dildo to go up your ass. I mean a giant pussy to fuck. Yeah, I mean easily. Oh, shit. Oh, stop talking about buttholes and penises. <laughs> stop talking about buttholes. It sold me on it, man. Ba, 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 da, da, Alex, are you left-handed? I am. Holy fuck. <laughs> the three? <laughs> Holy fuck! Uh, that means this household is 75% lefty. That is a statistical anomaly. Freaks. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna talk about it right now. I hate to- I'm sorry to flex on you right now, pissy. But I know, being, you're gonna live longer or some shit? No, no, being lefty. <laughs> being lefty? Left hand on the penis, uh -huh. right hand on the computer mouse. Oh. Works out perfectly. <laughs> you don't get a left-handed mouse if you're The only advantage. No. <laughs> no, there's certain things that lefties just deal with. Sure, like that would be one of them. Scissors. Yeah, most lefties just use right-handed mice, right-handed scissors. Okay, I thought uh, this was like a pressure plate thing. Nope. Um, yeah, I had to learn Guitar Hero off-handed. 
because it's like based on right-handed guitar. And then I learned real guitar. I was like, oh, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know Rich Rich plays guitar hero right handed, but plays real guitar left handed. Yeah, that's it's pretty interesting. I, I don't think that's totally uncommon. Um definitely in that configuration, but I could see it going the other way too. I know I'm considered like I forget what the term is, but like ambidextrous. It's I don't I wouldn't say I'm ambidextrous. Like I write left handed. I use my like left handed to you left right handed. <laughs> I write left handed, yes. I write left handed. I write left hand. I write left. That answered nothing. <laughs> um, like my my primary silverware hand is left handed. Toothbrush left hand. Penis left hand. Uh, I throw penis right. in every situation, or is it different when you're jerking or peeing? Uh, or do you alternate? No, it's always left. Yeah, okay, just checking. Um, that's your dick hand. <laughs> yeah, that's just the dick hand. I oh. throw right handed. I shoot right handed. Yeah, so there's certain things I do with my right hand that I know other lefties don't do with the right hand. So are you like, feel like you're, you're not included. You're not, you know, you're excluded from their, their sociability, you know? No. You like, is, is there, is there semi ambidextrous erasure in your culture? <laughs> no, I think if you write left-handed, like we're all accepting. We're not, we're not fucking assholes. Like you guys are. Yeah. You guys. Yeah, Just cause you're you. the majority. Maybe. Sounds like a generalization <laughs> to me. It sounds like something an asshole would say. Uh, I'm allowed to say that because I'm oppressed. You're oppressed. And I am. I am a straight white male, and I have no privilege yeah. as a lefty. No, yeah, it, it all gets disqualified the moment you have a, a single ounce of. Once you have all, you just need something. Just <laughs> once you thing. have all privileges, you have no privileges. Yeah, the the fucking rights have kept us down for too long. Yeah, they definitely had a concentrated effort to keep you down. <gasps> I found one. Yes. Oh, that's a Korok, huh? Yeah. I was picturing Make some sort him of eldritch suffer. being. Make him suffer. Okay. Well, you just uh, broke your own okay. weapon, so not off to a great start. Well, that's fine. I got a bunch more. <laughs> okay. Hopefully one of them works. Uh, no, I won't be using that. I have much better plans for this. What if this thing just says, fuck you, and turns around and flies up. away, and you don't get to do it? Uh, that's why I'm doing. not moving my camera away from him, so he doesn't despawn for some reason. But I don't think he will. While you do this, I'm going to tell a little story. Do it. So as a lefty, I like s trying to see if I can like see the, the tells that someone is left-handed without the overly obvious, like, oh, they're writing with their left hand, blah, blah, blah. Like, if you see someone wearing a watch on their right wrist, they're probably lefty. That's something that you probably have never thought about before. Or well, at least a right-handed person probably wouldn't think about that. The only time I've ever worn watches, which isn't often, I always put them on my right hand, I'm pretty sure. On your right hand or your left? I think my right, I feel like. But I'm not really a watch guy, so maybe I'm not doing it right. So I wear my watch on my right hand, and I started noticing that no one else does that. Mm. And so I looked it up, and it was like, oh, if you're lefty, you'll just naturally feel inclined to put it on your right hand. And the reason why is because subconsciously you know that like, oh, your your dominant hand is the one that's going to be uh, more likely to be in a scenario that could damage your watch. So you put your watch on the hand that's less used Makes sense. Let's see. to protect it. But my favorite way that I have ever discovered that someone was left-handed, I was grocery shopping and I'm at the, the checkout and the cashier lady was like it was one of those stores where like they scan the groceries and then they have that spinning rack thing with all the bags on it uh -huh. so they put the stuff in the bag spin, spin the it. rack and then put more stuff in the bag as they're scanning everyone else spins the rack counterclockwise because right. it just makes more sense we think left to right for everything she spun the rack clockwise instead of counterclockwise and when she did that i noticed it and i was like huh that like it like made my like ears perk up no <laughs> lefty and I was just like, excuse me, are you left-handed? And she was like, uh, yes. She probably thought you were about to flip out on her. <laughs> and I was just like, wow, that's crazy. I can't believe that, like, that just, like, stuck out in my brain. And <laughs> I recognized that. She was like, what do you mean? And I was like, you spun that clockwise instead of counterclockwise. And that's just something that I've never seen before. And I'm pretty sure that that's just, a like, a lefty thing. And she was like... Wow, I didn't even realize that I did that. Man, my dick felt so huge. I was like, wow, that was fucking cool. <laughs> Look at me impressing the checkout girl. 
Then I fucking beat her I'm, up. <laughs> oh, that's where we're going. Punched her in the face, and I said, "Thank you. Have a good night." I genuinely thought the story after you 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 gave us the discussion no, or the, of how you figured it out that you were just gonna end it with, uh, "Yo, are you lefty?" And she goes, "Uh, yeah. H why?" And you, go, "That's hot." That's hot, <laughs> bro. I just thought that's where you were gonna go with. I like your balls, bro. Okay, someone explain to me where all the pieces went. The Korok threw them off the cliff. Dude, you. I have not Dude. been paying attention at all. No, no. Review the tapes. My pieces are gone. They should be here, stacked up on each other. Well, they aren't, so... Are Put we... the evidence right here, editor. I... Okay. That'll work. <laughs> See if it works. Oh my god. Did it just blow up? Where'd he go? Yay, it worked! <laughs>